We will see a full walkthrough video tour of this RV in just a moment, or rather one similar to it in more of a standard interior. First, I wanted to give everyone a look at the limited production run of the, what I'm calling, flight house decor, the J Flight Farmhouse run. This is something that was not intended to be available this year. They are only doing a limited production run of it on three specific floor plans. This, the 28 BHS bunkhouse, and the 34 RSBS, kind of like triple slide sort of flat deck fifth wheel, all of which you will find here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We are very familiar with the farmhouse decors, originally available only in the Eagle series and now available through pretty much everything uh, except for the Pinnacle series. Uh, this has proved to be very popular. So it lightens up, brightens up the kitchen, makes the whole RV look and feel larger. But what's interesting is it doesn't really have like a catastrophic, like, oh my God, sort of panic attack effect on the RV. You notice how our living area still maintains that darker, it's not black. It's like a very dark espresso kind of brown. And if I get up close to it, you can actually start to see like a little bit of a, a sort of wood grain to it. It's got a very good look. It looks actually better in person than even it does on camera. The other thing the farmhouse decor is going to do for us is it will also lighten and brighten up the bathroom. And I don't even have the lights on in here right now. And you can see how this looks and feels much, much larger than it used to. Although, of course, we could just kick the lights on for you. And it's kind of funny. It's like I said, it depends on where you're standing, whether you really feel the impact of the farmhouse decor or not. Because, like, if I was just holding the camera like this, it would be very easy to mistake this for an RV with the Sterling decor. But obviously that, you know, lighter wood tones in the, uh, you know, kitchen and bathroom area are the signature calling card of that farmhouse lighter package. The bedroom remains largely unchanged. It, is, it doesn't change the weight or the equipment of the RV whatsoever. It is only an interior decor variance. So if you like what you see, let us know. Because like I said, at the time of this filming, it is a limited production item. I suspect if they receive enough outcry, they will find a way to work it into general production on all J-Flight models. Right now, again, it's only available on three. So if you like what you see, let us know. And stay tuned for the full video tour here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. 5,835 pounds and signaling the first major update and shift in the J-Flight family in three or four years. I don't know if I could be much happier with this 24 RBS rear bath travel and friendly couples camper right here at Halet RV. Different RVs are good at different things. And this RV is different because it's good at nearly all of the things. You can see that with the slide closed, you can very easily navigate through the kitchen. Technically, the only thing that you lose out on while this one is uh, closed up is that TV. Now, I suppose you could watch TV through that window a little bit if you were really, really so inclined. But chances are, if you're making a travel stop, watching TV is probably not the biggest thing on your docket. But the fact remains... If you need to get through the bathroom, the kitchen, get up to the bedroom, sit down, have a meal, grab a bite to eat, take a nap, this is exceptionally turtle friendly right here. And everything they've done in here, it just feels right, you know? I've been, you know, seeing J flights for over 10 years of my career now, and I don't know what it was. I walked in this, and even though it looks very different from what it had in the past, I just walked in and went, yep, that's exactly where they need to be. Now, all the things that's made J-Fly the success are still here. They're just prettier. Like, the fact that we have a 6'9 interior height. Some other trailers, like the Wildwoods, the uh, uh, Catalinas that we have, they've adopted that. But j has been doing it a little bit longer. They've uh, A lot of these other brands have kind of taken that cue from them. Freedom Express in the lightweight world, for instance. Now, another thing that we like to do here across all of our J-Flights is in addition to their optional thermal package, we'll outfit this with the optional 15,000 BTU air conditioner to give you maximum cooling power in here. And as long as we're up here, might as well mention the optional ceiling skylight in the kitchen. Now, that does have a draw shade to block out the sun. And again, while we're up here, huh, there's a lot to talk about. All Jayco's, if you have centralized air, you have what's called vented and louver ducting, meaning it can turn, open, and close at your preference. So it's always giving you the airflow you want, where you need it, when you need it. Now, all the windows will open for airflow. You'll see that uh, later. You can still kind of see the light penetrating through that shade. We just had some wicked morning light coming in. One of the things I like about this floor plan is like I'm standing at the location of the sofa. 
This is what I call a no neck wrecker entertainment system where the TV is directly facing, I guess what you consider your primary seating space. So it's very good for, uh, you know, rainy day viewing. Now all of the windows you can see are fully trimmed out and framed out. And one of the cool things, I mean, it looks nice, but it also gives those pleated shades something more substantial to bite into. Now down below, we've got a full true U-Dinet set up here. So it does give you more room for uh, whether it's couples or friends and family entertainment. Uh, oops, one of the uh, removable sofa armrests I left sitting on the uh, cushion over there. I wondered where I left that. It's all the same color, it blends in. But what's nice about this is it's a great couples camper, but it also has room for adult size guests. So even a big tall goofball like me would be able to be your guest for the weekend, kind of like Disney would say. Also, while we're sitting here, what's kind of cool is like, I sit up too late and I fiddle with my phone. So I kind of like the fact that there's a set of household outlets over there in that corner. Now, like I said, all the windows open for airflow. This is a very good way to get to see that. Now, the sofa side cross breeze window right there, it, it's complemented by the screen door. So logically... If you do have the windows open for fresh air, you're probably going to have the main door open and the screen door shut for fresh air. It makes a lot of sense. It's actually very, very smart. Now, of course, a little sofa can fold down into a little sleeper as well. But sleeping is not all this thing does. You've also got some nice storage space here. Now, I actually tried to custom order this. I called Jacob and said, hey, could I build this with like a theater seat or a couple recliners or something like that? And unfortunately, the short answer is no, because of that stuff down there. there was, there's mechanical things there that just can't be moved, suffice to say. So, there. We'll answer that question for you proactively. But you still get a nice little sofa storage chest there. And they're nice enough to include cabinetry above. Now, all the cabinetry you see, it's all pocket screwed with uh, lumber core styles, which means a real wood core uh, within that um, you know cabinet construction, not like a particle board with a, uh, a, a staple style construction, which is actually okay. It's not bad. It's just this is built better, which is why they have the best warranty out there. We'll talk more about that outside. So you can see how that table's free floating, which is one of the things I like because sometimes, especially right now, I'm a little bit thicker around the midsection so I can kind of cheat the table toward my tiny wife and kid. And uh, they know I do it, but, you know, they're tiny. It's, it's cool. <laughs> so both sides of the dinette have those pull-out storage totes for easy access. And you can see how even all around that direct viewing entertainment center, you've got all kinds of, I mean, anything they could, they opened up for storage space. Now, while we're talking about storage, let's talk about cold storage. J-Flight Standard have an 8 cubic foot gas electric, you know, dual power source fridge. Uh, we carry a lot of brands here that have a 12 volt fridge. Both styles of refrigerator have their own uh, benefits and drawbacks, and that's why we carry different things here. People sometimes call say, what's the best trailer? There is no answer to that. There's no answer what's best. Every RV is the best in a different way. I, I believe that wholeheartedly. One of the things they did here, uh, versus there are some other brands that we carry that have a very similar floor plan, they expanded the countertop, they bumped it out a little bit, which is something this floor plan really benefits from, because otherwise there's very minimal counter space, but you could take the table outside, plus you've got a little camp kitchenette outdoors. It gets the job done pretty well, too. But this is a sealed edge called thermal foil countertop. That, in conjunction with the sink cover, that uh, rolling um, like dish drying rack, and the flush mount stovetop here, actually give us decent prep space uh, all below that real tile backsplash. And, if you listen... Yeah, I can't... Oh, I forgot. Holy crap, I can't do the wedding ring test anymore. Um, I almost lost a finger... Uh, not too long ago because something caught my wedding ring and dang near ripped my finger off. So my wife and I, um, to, you know, keep the symbol of our, our, you know, commitment to one another, we got these little silicone, like, kind of rings so that the band would rip before my finger got ripped off. So I can't do the wedding ring test anymore. Crap, hold on, maybe my watch band? Yeah, you can kind of hear metal on metal there. I'm, oh man, I'm going to have to carry like a tuning fork in my pocket to do the wedding ring test from now on. Crap, I never considered that. Oops. Bump my button. Anyway, down below that sink, we've got a nice space for a wastebasket and plywood drawers down to the floor. Even their drawers are plywood here in these J-Flights. They don't use secondary materials. Now, someone's going to ask, I can't believe they're still putting vents in the floor. You should ask why they're doing it. Remember, every RV is the best for a different reason. Floor vented heating is significantly more effective at heating your RV versus cabinet ducted heating. Basically, every single time you have a cabinet duct, you've lost 37% of the airflow to that duct. Well, 
as compared to a J Flight SLX, which is a spring, summer, fall camper, this is an extended season camper. And they wanted to give it that extra heating effectiveness. And along with that, something I'll reiterate outside, but to show you, I can lift this up. You actually do have a radiant barrier in the floor there. Now you might notice that is actually a structure wood uh, slide floor. And I talk all the time about how J Flights aren't built with OSB. This is one exception, and it's completely purposeful. That's a material called Pmax, and it is significantly stronger than uh, equivalent uh, plywood floor decking in that slide. It's built exactly for that purpose. One of the cool parts about it is this is a floor flush slide. It doesn't go straight in or out. It actually kind of slopes up and down. So they can build the floor to do that with a structure wood floor that they can't do with plywood. So they can make it thicker in some places and actually make it stronger, which, I don't know, overall, I think it's pretty darn cool. Now, closing up all the cabinetry so this thing doesn't look like an explosion went off in here, we can sneak our way back to the bathroom. As we come in, one of the things you'll notice right away is a porcelain foot flush stool and plenty of leg room. Whether you've got long legs like mine or you need room to get dressed when you get out of that shower, you have plenty of room here to do so. Now, one of the cool things about this shower is that it's in an extra tall trailer, so taller people like me can fit into it. But before I demonstrate that, Take note of the fact right here that you have a nice little night light. Like during the day, which one is this? That one. It doesn't do too much, but at night, it'll make this whole shower glow, which is really nice because it, I mean, you, you can see what you're doing in here, especially this like light skin toilet. You'll be able to see exactly where you are and what you're doing. And again, like I said, taller trailer means even a tall person like me, I don't have to have my head in the bubble, which is something I really appreciate because I wake up grumpy. <laughs> And uh, while you're in the shower with me, if we flip around the other direction, I like how the sink and the medicine cabinet are angled inward so that you can actually stand completely in the bathroom to use them. But all the way around behind that medicine cabinet, you get this monster bonus closet. And this is absolutely enormous. This is that big long-term storage you want for those extended stay trips. Plenty of room in there for totes or organizers, all kinds of different things. You could Pinterest your heart to death on different ideas and concepts and things you can do right there. Now, uh, swinging through here, a couple little coat hooks by the door, which is a nice little touch. Again, all the windows being fully framed out. And a quality that I have, I mean, it is just exceptionally uncommon in the world of conventionally constructed travel trailers, is a 60 by 80 true queen bed. So the longer bed and the taller ceiling make this great for bigger folks like me. I cannot tell you how uncommon that is. We carry three other types of conventionally constructed trailers here, and J-Flight is the only one that has a 60x80 queen bed from the factory. Now, some of them might be queen capable, true queen capable, but this is the one that's built that way right from the start. Both sides of the bed give you household outlets. Over here, you've got a couple different varieties of 12-volt plugs, so you can keep some phone charging kind of stuff going on. Full overhead cabinet, and as we flip around, kind of like directly across from the sofa, you have a TV. Directly across from the bed, you have a TV mount. Now, what's cool, that is a quick-release mount. So if you do want to uh, put a TV on there and then take it outside to utilize the outside TV hookups, you can. And with even my weak geek left arm, you can see you can easily lift that plywood decked uh, base or bed base there to get to all of the storage below. And now that is a full underbed and pass-through. Could you partition it? so that you're, you have separate inside-outside cargo? Sure, absolutely. But you're not pigeonholed into doing that. J-Flight gives you the choice. Now we've talked about a lot of fun feature things so far, but a really major thing to talk about here is the fact that there is nobody, pretty much in the industry, but especially in this class, that matches Jayco's warranty. Jayco, in pretty much any area in which you find them, has the industry's best warranty, offering two full years of uh, RV coverage plus three years of structural coverage. They've always had the longer warranty for the RV, but there was that three-year structural thing that really confused a lot of people. Some people thought that the other RVs they were looking at might have a three-year warranty. They didn't. Jayco has always had, and I think it's just a point of pride with them, I think they always will have the uh, best warranty out there. And I'm getting blinded by the sun. I can't even see what I'm pointing at. So what are they doing different? Well, 
it all starts from the bottom up. If you want a good house, you start with a good foundation. And every single J-Flight rides on a custom engineered chassis. If you notice the A-frame here, the tongue, it actually integrates directly into the chassis. And what that does there, it's kind of sneaky, but sneaky in a good way. It's the reason that they're taller inside without being taller outside. They don't have a taller ceiling, they have a lower floor. Uh, you can also see how that diamond plate extends all the way down. Now little things too, like everything on this is, the intention is to be a little bit bigger, a little bit better, like the 30 pound propane tanks instead of 20s. There's advantages both ways, but this means you have 50% more time between swap outs. Power tongue jack, power awning, that stuff's a dime a dozen. I do want to mention it, but I don't want to belabor a bunch of time on it. UV tinted windows, however, that's like a 50-50 thing in this class and category. J flights have them to help keep the heat from the sun down and the nosy neighbors out. And you have already seen how our slide side windows open for airflow. Down below here, the optional J Flight thermal package. That's something that you're going to find us putting on 10 times out of 10 on a full blown J Flight. It starts with an enclosed heated belly, but it also adds layers of insulation, plus, every single Jayco with a slide has a radiant barrier in the slide floor to help you maintain more comfortable temperatures. J Flights were the first in this class to have LED tail and marker lights. A few other brands have since adopted that, but J Flight has kind of stayed ahead of the curve with things like reverse travel lighting. If you take a look at those brake lights, you can see a white element in the middle. Those are no joke. If you stare at it's like if you're watching somebody weld, you glance at it real quick and all of a sudden you go, oh my God, my retinas. You know, I mean, they're, they're legit. Backup camera ready. Uh, outside shower with hot and cold water, not just a cold water sprayer port, and a black tank flush. Those are all nice things you'll find on these flights. Also, that spare tire right there. I hope you never need it, but if you do, you really want it to be in good shape, which is why I really appreciate how uh, Jayco puts a, uh, a little slip cover on those just to keep the sun off those to make sure they're not gonna be weather checked. Couple things over here on the campsite. Obviously you see Mr. Jody there doing some quality control for us. You can see the trailer's actually still hooked up to the truck. Before we accept anything from the manufacturers here at Halet RV, we do a, uh, a full surface inspection to make sure it's up to standards before we pull it into the shop and actually go through two cycles of full burns. We do that on every single new RV here at Halet RV. Uh, this is something that they've really done a good job of. Uh, just a, a no-nonsense little camp kitchenette kind of station right here with this telescoping kitchen system. Um, I like how it, you know, slides open to you, but it's also, <clears throat> pardon me, it's on gas struts. So, like, if you bump it, and, like, let's say you've got a pot of hot water or something up here, it's not going to go flying shut and knock that hot water onto you. Speaking of hot water, you've got a real sink with a real drain into a holding tank here. Uh... Uh, six gallon gas and electric simultaneous use fast recharge water heater here now a neat thing it used to be you found those on the full flights like we're looking at but that was it you find those on the SLX's and I mean everything now even the little single axles they all use the exact same nice water heater outside TV hookups in that vertical square thing right there rectangular rather is actually an outside TV mount the uh, power awning over here, one touch, easy operation. Well, when I say one touch, I mean push button. One touch can kind of imply some different sh stuff, and I'm not a snake oil shifty person. I just don't like to tell you half the truth. The speakers for outside, you might notice, are not in the sidewalls. They're actually located here in the awning arms so that they point down at your campsite instead of blowing away the neighbors. Of course, we have uh, the lighting at the base of the awning. And J-Flights use a wider 30-inch entry door, kind of like a fifth wheel, with that bigger XL handle. <clears throat> now our tires, we've got a best-in-class Goodyear Endurance radial here, rated for up to 87 miles per hour. Please don't drive that fast towing a trailer. At only 80 PSI, which means you can stop just about anywhere to put some air in them. They are running on Dexter axles, and you can see that they have a galvanized steel uh, wheel wheel here, like a blowout guard. God forbid! You know, you can take the best care in the world of this tire here, but it is possible to catch some debris. Now, uh, at the time of this filming, uh, stable steps have become an optional piece of equipment you could apply to this J-Flight. Normally, I'd put them on 10 times out of 10, but this J-Flight is something that we ordered about six, eight weeks ago. It just showed up, it just snuck into the new build generation, so it doesn't have those steps. But if you like them, you're not out of luck, because the good news, you only need a 26 inch wide entry door to put on stable steps. 
Remember how I said this one has a 30 inch entry door. So if the only thing you need to take this trailer home is stable steps, you're gonna like buying here at Haylet RV because we can make that happen. And frankly, after this trailer sells in the future, they're probably pretty much all gonna have stable steps on them short of a custom order because we've found people really, really like those things. Um, <clears throat> now over here, we've got a, this J Flight's been good uh, for this for years. We've got a wide and large, like uh, tall baggage compartment. And it is a true pass-through and you have the exact same size baggage door on the opposite side of the RV as well. They're very good about being very complete that way. Another neat thing on our awning here is that it's a two finger easy tilt. That's all it takes to tilt the awning. It'll hold itself there. And what's also neat is it's self-correcting. So if you leave the awning like that and you hit the awning close button, even though it's on that wicked angle right now, it'll flatten itself back out and it'll come out straight as an arrow exactly the way it's supposed to. Up on the roof here, good opportunity to talk about construction because the uh, construction of a Jayco roof, whether it's a trailer or fifth wheel, typically differs in at least one way or another from virtually anything else out there. Uh, how about the, the simple virtue of the fact that we're walking on plywood roof decking instead of OSB? Immediately puts Jayco into a very exclusive category that pretty much consists of Jayco and some, not all, of its subsidiary companies. And that is one of the various aspects that composes Jayco's Magnum Truss roof system, which to boil it down very simply, their heavier roof construction might mean this weighs a pound more, but it's also the reason that its roof has a 50% higher weight load rating. That's a, uh, a pretty common thing. I know some dealers in different areas of the country, even a couple dealers in Canada, and uh, one of them was telling me that when it's heavy snow load season, they'll tell their salespeople, you know, get out there with the snow brooms and brush off the roofs, but don't worry about the Jaycos, they're fine. That's a true story. Um, in case you're wondering, this little shark fin <laughs> that's kind of peeking through the, the surface right there, that's your TV antenna. They're just getting a little bit better about making those things not quite a windbreaker. Now, uh, our walls, you know, things like ab above the slide out, there is an eight inch micro laminated header beam that extends like 14 inches past the slide. Now, all that probably means very little to you, but long story short, what it means in simple plain English is that any RV, like brand new, structurally is good enough. Jayco's aren't built to be good enough today. They're built to be still great tomorrow. That's the difference. So what this means that I just told you on the header beam is that the, uh, the slide opening, you know, the area of the roof above the slide isn't going to buckle and sag and gap down over time. You know, the 5 8 Tongue and Groove plywood floor decking. Other brands have since adopted that. It's actually used pretty commonly. Jayco was the first to really do it like super commonly across the board in this class and category. So there's all kinds of different campers, as you can see, and they all do something better than someone else. And that's why we carry all these different things. They all have their own neat redeeming qualities. But I don't think it's an accident that since 2005, J-Flight's been the number one selling travel trailer in its class out there. You know, that's a huge, huge accomplishment. So. If you want to kind of learn a little bit more about that, the fact that they have that, uh, you know, the uh, the industry best warranty, really, or learn more about us here at Halet RV, where we do hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything between. And all it takes is a phone call or an email or a smoke signal or a pigeon or whatever. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.